when you left community, mm -hmm. when you stepped back, mm -hmm. you have said that you got a lot of flack. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about the motive. Some people don't know why you did that, why yeah. you took a step back. And I want to ask you about that flack yes. because people don't understand when, when you make those kinds of choices in your life. Tell, yeah. me about, tell me about your dad. Yeah, so I've been a caregiver for my dad for 10 years. So that's how long it's been since community went off the air. And um, I noticed that things were happening with him um, maybe six to eight months before that. And once the show got canceled, I immediately got, in, got on a plane, went to Cleveland, and just started packing him up because I'm like, I'm gonna move him with me. Um, and then community got picked up. And I realized that 16 hour days was not conducive to me being able to take care of my dad in the way that he deserved. So I, I went to Dan Harmon and Sony at the time and said, is it possible that you guys can release me from my contract? And I told them why. And they kindly released me. Um, no strings attached, go and take care of your dad. Um, it was the fans that were a little mean about it, which I didn't understand. I, I didn't, to some of their credit, some people didn't understand why I left. Um, they just knew it was a family issue. But in my mind, who, what kind of monster is gonna choose a television show over their father or whoever they're choosing to care for? Um, and so I was a little, I was a little put, put back that they thought that fame or money or success or whatever they think those things are would make me pass on caring for someone that you know, taught me how to use a spoon. It's never gonna happen. There's this thing called self-care, never been able to master it, but I heard it exists and it's awesome. You have to find a way to find something that brings you joy as a caregiver. What I have found, and I found this after my mother passed, Lego brings me joy. Lego is something that I can just, if I'm building, I can just focus on you know, the infinity gauntlet or you know, the, the Volkswagen bug or whatever it is that I'm building. You focus on that thing and then once it's done, you have something tangible that was that took your mind off of the thing that was heavy for you. And so I tell people, maybe it's coloring, maybe it's a puzzle, maybe it's crocheting, maybe it's binge washing Ted Lasso. Find something that takes your mind off the thing. So that's the self-care for me. Um, and it's important for every caregiver to find that because you spend so much time being outward facing, concerned about your person, that you forget that you're also your person. You know, before you're a caregiver, you have to care for this person, right? So you have to find a way to do that. And I'm still, I'm struggling with it. I don't know how to do it, but I'm trying.